The key to effective security is managing and controlling change. Just because a system is secure today doesn't mean it's secure in the future. So I have a lot of our clients that have really good security processes and procedures. They have good secure builds. They do vulnerability scanning, pen testing, and all those great things. But the problem is they don't have a robust change control board. You must have a way to manage and control change in your organization. You must be able to not only verify and validate every change before it's made, but you also must make sure you have a list of all authorized changes. And there's two reasons. The first reason why you want to always verify change, because any time you're changing a system, no matter how minor you think it is, you could be introducing in new vulnerabilities and new exposures. I see all the time where a company will release a patch to fix one problem, and they do fix it with the patch, but they create two other problems. So whenever you're changing code, you have to be super careful that you're not inadvertently creating new vulnerabilities or exposures. So depending on the business, you have to decide whether the additional functionality is worth the risk of exposure by making the change. And we have some clients where the functionality is critical enough, they're going to go in and make the change. In other cases, the business stability is so important, they're not going to approve the change. But that's something that an executive team involving IT and security and all the business units have to be involved with. So all your changes must go through a change control board. The second reason is, if you're doing vulnerability scans and continuous monitoring, and for the last three months, there were only five ports open, and today there's a sixth port, you need to know whether that was an authorized or unauthorized change. Only by going in and being able to look at an approved change control board can you go in and see whether that was approved or not and see whether it was authorized. So all changes must go through a change control process and by managing and controlling change you can not only get visibility but you can stop vulnerabilities from being introduced that can be exploited by an adversary.